Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we are going to be working on this 1960s safe that has been handed down to me from my great 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 aunt. So this safe is pretty neat. It ha you see how this dial, or dial in it right here? It's a yell but there was stuff broken in it so I right, went ahead and removed it and I'm going to buy one of the push button locks in the meantime while this one is getting fixed. So once this one gets fixed I will be reinstalling it. <coughs> but what my plans are for it is I'm going to sand this down. As you can see, we already started here because the paint is flaking really bad. And if you can look real closely here, you can see these original lines. I'm going to repaint those back on there in this bronze color so it will match the, the handle. But once you get it open, you can see pretty good size safe, uh, very thick. So I am very happy about that. The back is already taken off here. I have the backing sheet. But I am going to be turning this into a gun safe, so I'm going to be redoing the inside and redoing the outside. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the handle here so I can take it inside and get it cleaned up. And then we will start sanding the rest of it. So let's get right to work. <laughs> I was able to remove the handle, pretty simple. And I'm going to leave the pins out so the door won't shut all the way, because if not, it's gonna be extremely hard to be able to get this thing open again. So what I'm gonna do now is go inside, clean this up with some um, barkeeper shine, and then uh, see how polished we can get this. got the new keypad. It's a golden brass color. With, it has a light under it also. And then the new lock. I went ahead, tried the lock. It actually bolts up perfectly with the old screw holes and everything. Same thread pitch and everything also. So that is very, very nice. I don't have to try to cap and do all that stuff. The other thing I got is a sandblaster from Harbor Freight. Put it all together. I've used it a little bit as you can see. The sand on the ground here. But it is making it so much easier to clean this off with. So I'm going to put you all on time lapse, finish this side of the safe, and then I'll wheel the rest off of camera. So let's get back to work. I got the front door of the safe all sandblasted. I'm very pleased with how the sandblaster is doing, but I do not like how much sand I've been using. That took a whole 50 pound bag, which is like 12 bucks. So I'm going to try to figure out a way to capture the sand, filter it, and reuse it a couple of times. I looked it up on the internet. It said the sand I'm using is just fine for that. So uh, I have another 50 pound bag. We will be doing the sides, top, the inside still. So we have a lot more to do. So let's get right back to work. So we have the safe completely primed. Everything's looking good. I'm gonna wipe it down real quick so, with some paint thinner, let it dry, and then we're gonna get my spray gun out, get the paint mixed up. I'm just gonna be using some uh, tractor paint from Tractor Supply with the hardener and the reducer. And then once we get that done, we'll paint everything except for the inside. I'm just gonna spray the edges of the door, edges of the door frame, and then the whole inside of the uh, safe is going to be a light gray so you can see inside easier. So I'm going to get all this stuff prepped and ready to paint and then I'll get back to y'all. So let's get right to work. Okay, so I just finished up painting the safe. It's looking really good. The inside isn't painted. 
I'm gonna be spraying that with spray paint. I think I said that earlier, but I'm, if I didn't, we're gonna be spraying it with gray spray paint. But the outside's looking very nice. I had a little mess up down here at the bottom. Um, I spray, tried to spray under the door and it kind of threw up some dust on the side. So I'll have to wipe that down and spray it again. But other than that, everything came out looking good. I used my, my GTI Pro Light spray gun. You can get these off of Amazon for, I think I bought this one for about 80 bucks and it's worked really well. I also sprayed my diesel truck with this one. So uh, I highly recommend it if you need a affordable spray gun and you want to pick one up go to Amazon so the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna let this thing dry for about a week or so and then we will start on the inside get that painted and then that will be the end of this video and the next video we'll be adding all the decorative stuff to it so I will see y'all here in a second And that's gonna be wrapped to this video. Thank y'all for watching. So y'all are gonna get a little sneak peek of what I've been doing because my final clip, the audio did not record. So we went ahead, got the door on. This is gonna be in the next video, but we got it painted gray. We got the inside painted gray. Everything that is brown is gonna have carpet on it so that whatever I put in there won't get damaged by the metal. And then um, the paint job, it came out looking nice. A little sneak peek at the handle and the lock. But other than that, thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. God bless, and I'll see you on the next video.